Hey guys, it's Dorian. Today I wanted to share something that I've been doing. Uh, as you know, I've been doing this Scion Linux thing and I have a, I had a concern because I've already had an SSD die and I've had a couple of hard drives die. And this is because using virtual machines even, uh, I'm making the ISO I copy the ISO, I boot it in a VM, I install it on a virtual drive, and um, especially dealing with the installer, or even if you're a distro hopper and you want to try different things, this this is really going to help you too. Um, you use your drive a lot, and a lot of writes will eventually kill your drives. It'll kill it a lot faster, especially like an operating system where you're installing anywhere from you know, three to six gigs repeatedly over and over and over. And I'm bad for that, for reviewing everything and for doing these uh, install tests repeatedly over and over and over. So one thing that you can do that I've been doing for a little while now, and I thought I would share, is I'm using a RAM disk. Now in Ubuntu, it's pretty simple. I'm, it's pretty simple all throughout, I guess. Um, but let me just sh show you here. If I open my system manager, you can see that all I have running is uh, one virtual machine and the screen recording software, and I'm using 12.3 gigs of RAM. Now, the reason for that is because I have a 6.3 gig RAM disk that I'm using for this virtual machine. And what I've done, let me just minimize this here, uh, if you want to do that, this is super handy. If you are distro hopping, uh, you want to try different things, or maybe you only have a mechanical drive, so it's super slow. Uh, you want to be able to speed things up a bit. If you have a lot of RAM, then this is a really awesome way. So I have 16 gigs of RAM. It shows 15 and a half in the resource monitor, but whatever. I have 16 gigs of RAM, and so I don't need all of that. So what I've done, I will just make this bigger for you guys. All you have to do is run this command. So this folder here, make sure you have this or use something else. It could be slash mount, it could be whatever you want. Uh, so yeah, you could use the mount right in the root or media. And in media, I have my mounted stuff, of course, and I created this RAM disk folder. And in this RAM disk folder is the virtual drive. So you run this command, and this is going to be how large you want it. Now remember, whatever size that you set, uh, that is the maximum, but I mean, you don't want to set 6.5 gigs if you only have eight gigs of RAM, that doesn't leave you a lot of room for your virtual machine to um, to run itself. Personally, I don't use swap. See, so swap not available. If you do, that's probably not of an it, as much of an issue. It'll run a lot slower because it'll be using your hard drive as as memory. Um, but then you're kind of losing out on the whole benefit of doing this in the first place. But so anyways, you run this command and what it's going to do is gonna take a chunk of your RAM and it's going to mount it here like as if it's a 6.5 gig drive. So as you could see in here, I have this machine. So I, I did that command and then you're just gonna go into your virtual machine settings storage and you're going to go, it won't let me do it. Let me just pick one that has no hard drive. I have one with no hard drive somewhere. Sure. So add hard drive, create new disk. You could probably do this in VMware as well. Uh, VDI, next. Dynamically allocated. This is good because if you're only using two gigs of hard drive space, uh, it'll expand as needed. So if you're only using two gigs of hard drive space, that file here will only be two gigs and it'll only use two gigs of your RAM. 
So if you say fixed size, it's going to be whatever size you set it at right from the beginning. So dynamically allocated. Now you're going to choose where it is and you're going to go to your root media round disk or wherever you put it. Give it the name save. I'm not going to do it, of course, and make sure that you set this size to be no larger than the space you've allocated. So six gigs, right? And then you have a six gig quote unquote hard drive to use. So now the reason, like I said earlier, was um, my hard drives are dying faster than they should be because of all the rights being written over, over and over and over and over and over, and it's really killing all my drives. So this particular virtual machine, the hard drive, virtual hard drive, is in the RAM disk. And I've just installed uh, Scion 18.3 on it. So I'm going to restart that, and you'll see this beats any SSD just because it's just getting it directly from RAM. So it, I was booted into the live thing there, so I'm going to hit enter to unmount the drive. And then we're at the boot screen, hit enter. Of course, some kernel stuff just won't get any faster no matter what, right? But this is faster. There, that's done. That's faster than even my SSD. Log in and boom, everything's up and running. And everything is like super fast to open. Even Chromium, which takes quite a long time the first time you try to open it. So that is a little tip for you guys. I've got some things that I'm working on, uh, which is why I I do this in a RAM disk now, but uh, yeah, you can see the memory dip now, now that the virtual machine isn't running anymore, um, but the memory is always there. So it's probably not gonna get much lower than six gigs usage right now because that disk is using about five gigs with the installed Scion on it right now. So <clears throat> another thing is if you're doing it with RAM, remember, of course, it's RAM. Uh, it's not ROM. So as soon as you reboot your system, uh, it's gone, whatever you installed. So make sure to remember not to store anything important in there because as soon as your computer's rebooted or if your system crashes or whatever, maybe you run out of memory, uh, that stuff's gone. And if you want to manually get rid of it, then you would just go back into your terminal and you can go sudo umount for unmount and wherever your RAM disk is that you set up, you unmount it, enter in your root password, and then it's gone. And you just see my RAM just drop down to 2.5 gigs because now that is gone. So it still shows that it's here right now, but if I close VirtualBox, reopen it, now you can see it's inaccessible because it doesn't exist anymore. It is gone. Let's just go in here, media, RAM disk, gone, nothing in there because it was in RAM. So that's one of my little tips I thought I would share that I think is really good if, if you're doing stuff like this, if you're doing a lot of really large um, large file work, uh, you don't want to be overwriting and overwriting and overwriting your drives all the time. Yes, kitty. So as you can see now, my, my system has two drives. I have my SSD and my old school mechanical pizza spinner. And this virtual machine is running on my mechanical drive, which is why it's taking a lot longer to boot than the RAM disk did, of course. Uh, it'll run much faster on the SSD, but to be honest, doing all this testing and everything, 
Uh, I've been doing it all on the mechanical drive because I'd rather kill a one terabyte mechanical drive than kill a 500 gig SSD, which is five times as expensive. So, but do as much as you can in the, um, in the RAM disk as possible. It'll really save you. And RAM is designed to be written over and over and over. You're not going to hurt anything because your computer does it all the time anyways. Um, so it's, it's no different than running large applications. Uh, what else? So, um, yeah, my Scion is, uh, it's getting there, but you know, 31 updates available. I literally just updated this, uh, was it an hour and a half ago, maybe. And there's 31 updates again because it's using Bionic Beaver, which means everybody is panicking right now. Not panicking. Yeah, panicking. Everybody's rushing, I should say, to get all the final packages done for Bionic Beaver, which is out in just over a month now. Um, the freezes are all starting to take place, and um, so everybody's rushing to get those final versions and updates done. And what I have done, I'm just doing finishing touches right now. Oh, I don't want a CD. I am working on a welcome screen, which is going to pop up when you first boot up on the live disk. And you can install from here. You can go to the website, the forum, the wiki, and all that good stuff. And this will be checked on by default, so then you just turn it off. Just like any other distro, right? And it's going to have some tips and whatnot. Uh, control panel remains fairly much unchanged. Uh, I'm getting rid of this window effects option because I'm not using Compton anymore. I'm now using XComp MGR. There's different changes that I'm doing here. I'm dumping VLC for uh, MPV and yeah, just doing a couple of things. I'm also going to add some actual Office software. I'm going to put LibreOffice uh, and other stuff, but right now I'm keeping it very minimal because I, I'm writing these ISOs over and over and installing them. And the, the less software that is on it, the better. Just for the testing purposes, I can always add packages on later on. So that's the plan right now. And the ISO is, uh, what was it? The ISO is 949 megabytes. So it'll probably still be around a gig with all the software that I add on uh, later on. And then, yeah. So anyways, that's what's going on. If you're distro hopping and you have enough RAM, I'd say at least 16 gigs of RAM, um, use a RAM disk and then you can install all you want. If you're doing some testing, use a RAM disk. Anything with a lot of data that you're writing over and over and over, use a RAM disk. It's way faster and you're not going to kill your hard drives. So that's all I got to say for today. Happy Friday guys. And, uh, I'll hopefully maybe start churning out more stuff soon. It's been crazy busy because I'm off work next week, but I'm also out of town. So yeah, who knows? I'll, I'll do what I can, but you know, things are getting busy. Anyways, till next time, bash on.